What's up people? I just wanted to give you an update of my new Neovim configuration. I'm trying to move things to Lua, at least the configuration part. So uh, actually by the way, um, if you didn't know from Neovim 0.5, that's not the stable version but you can get the binary from 0 0.5. Uh, there is uh, sub built in support for Lua and there's an article about why they chose Lua. You can go ahead and read that, but basic idea is it's way faster than VimScript and um, and it, actually it's faster than some other languages like Python. They have a just in time compiler, so yeah, um, you can come here and read this. I got instructions to install my configuration. Uh, first thing we will need is NeoVim obviously uh, 0 0.8 version sorry 0 0.5 version you can get the binaries from their repository and go to releases here we have the 0 0.5 version by the way, stable release is um, 0 0.4 Lua will not work on that version. Um, but I would recommend cloning the project and building it yourself because this is an idle build. So every day, every time they have a new build, you don't have to uh, download the new binaries. That's what I'm doing. Um, let me show you that. So this is the project. I mean the NeoVim clone. Uh, to update, you can just hit git pull. Then after that, you should be able to make and sudo make install to install the uh, binaries. Let me actually show you what I have in my configuration. Uh, cd config. This is the entry point, um, you know, init.vim file. All I have is import to init.lua um, file. This is the file. This is some globals I have and the package manager. Then I, I have, you know, some uh, plugin configurations, coc, then some default configurations. Let me actually show you some plugins I have. So I'm importing Lua, sorry, uh, Pac-Man. That's the package manager I'm using. Um, it's actually a wrapper for, as, as far as I know, that's a wrapper for NeoVim built-in config, sorry, a built-in package manager. And here we have like uh, NeoVim tree. That's the, uh, what is that? Nurtry alternative. Then we have dev icons, color theme, coc for LSP. I used the uh, default LSP, but I don't have time to configure that, so I'm using coc for now. Maybe in the future I'll use the default L LSP features in NeoVim. And we have FCF, you know, uh, fuzzy search. It's uh, control P. So what else? Fugitive, that's the git uh, plugin. I can hit on my configuration, I can hit space GS to get status. And you can check like, you know, diff and all that. Let's go back. Um, so what else? Auto pair to complete the uh, closing bracket of things, you know. Um, that's what auto pair does. Then we have comment frame actually. Let me show you that. Um, it can add comments like this. It's kind of help, um, helping me to organize things in my configuration. Uh, actually, let me show you some things from COC because that's a kind of important part here you can come to extensions and uh, you'll find all the extensions i have added if you want a new extension new coc extensions 
um, all you have to do is come here and add that to this array it's called table in Lua but uh, yeah you can just simply add the plugin here and it will automatically install these plugins and we have key binds like control j and k to go to next and previous uh, auto completion item in the menu control is pressed to get the auto completion menu leader j and k to go to next and previous uh, errors we have that includes actually um spellings errors uh yeah things like that um is there anything we should talk about in this configuration let me see actually let's let me show you some things i have um these are some functions you can use if you want to you know register key binds and stuff and there are some options sorry uh reusable functions to add options there are different levels for you know when you add an option you need to figure out what um level or is, is it in global level or window level or buffer level you actually can find that in um, just google lua nvim i think yeah wait yeah this is the one and let's go to options yeah this is like the guide to use options you can basically come here and uh, for example you can do lua beam or um what do we have actually let me check some options we have we have mouse option um so you should be able to you know print that let's print uh vim o4 options global op options and let's go let's get mouse this should work yeah we have an as you can see in the bottom left corner yeah um that's the basic functionality we have uh, some reusable global functions you know option dot g yeah things like that um you can come here and check this out if you like the configuration you can just um i don't know hit the star in my um web story i guess right here all right thanks for watching by the way actually let me show you my old configuration uh it's in uh, dot home now this is the latest one you can come to dot home repository and this this repository has in my entire home directory directories dot files including some other configurations you know uh things like i3 yeah um polybar stuff like that uh come here and you will find my previous configuration i have written in uh, um vim script uh, pretty much the same thing you can do in my new 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 configuration as well you know i have java support ts es lint and all that actually i forgot to set the coc configuration you'll find it here coc settings.json file if you want to use it so that's it um thanks for watching again